In this video, we'll be looking into data cleaning and this time I'll be touching on the issue related to data entry error. Now, what do you mean by data entry error? Okay, this takes place when you have wrongly key in the data. Uh, perhaps like uh, for age, it's 18 years old, you have keyed in 180 years old, uh, you have wrongly, you know, uh, put in the additional zero and for data that is Likert scale, your maximum Likert scale is let's say five, but you have an answer uh, which you have keyed in, yeah, wrongly, you have put in an eight or seven. So such kind of errors, yeah, can be detected via SPSS and you can rectify those errors before you run your data analysis. So I will show you how to detect the errors and to rectify the issues in SPSS. So in SPSS, you go to Analyze, go to Descriptive Statistics, and you go again to Descriptives. So what we have to do now is that, yeah, we need to select all these uh, variables here. Yeah? So you just click the first variable, you go right at the bottom here. Yeah, for me, I'm using a MacBook, so I just need to click Shift and I just tick the last variable here. It will automatically select all the variables and I will click this arrow to send the variables to this section. Next, what I do is that I click OK, that this section is now displaying all the output. So let's go through the output here. Yeah, we are looking into the minimum and maximum value. Now, can you see for the age, the maximum value is 240. So there's definitely an error when I was trying to type in the value. Probably I wrongly put in the zero. Yeah. Next, we can look into ethnicity where you can see that in ethnicity, the maximum is five, where else for me, there's only four because I only have one if, which is, if it's going to be Malay, two Chinese, third Indian and fourth others and now i can see there's five here yeah so probably i've wrongly keyed in and can you see okay for my next variables they're like a scale and my maximum is five scale but i've put here seven so there's definitely again a data entry error now we can rectify these issues by uh, identifying which exact case yeah, or exact respondent that i have wrongly keyed in yeah spss can help us to detect that particular issue and we can rectify these things and we can identify the cases one by one yeah so how do we do it you again go to your analyze go to reports yeah in your reports you go to case summaries yeah so i now need to select the variables that had issues age mm, ethnicity and it was the first variable here. Yeah, I've selected the variables. Next, what you have to do is that you have to untick this part here. Yeah, limit cases to first 100. We want it the entire cases. We have around 250 cases over here. So once you have untick this, you click OK. So can you see all your cases will be here? So you can see the first case. Yeah, okay, the age has no issue. Okay, so where was the issue with the age? You see, case number 10. So it means that now, remember your questionnaire, you have already uh, quote them. So you have to go to your questionnaire number 10 and check what was the age. Okay, and you can rectify this thing. So you take note of this, case number 10. Ethnicity, my issue is here. Okay, on case number 2. And again, the issue for data entry is with case number 2. When it comes to the uh, variable over here yeah so i need to rectify this thing by checking back again with the cases yeah so what i will do from here onwards i'll go back to my data but before that i must remember case number two and case number ten so i can go to case number two yeah i had issues with ethnicity so i've checked and i know it's number four it's not five and then my first variable here, oh, it's not seven, it's supposed to be five. And my age yeah, was a uh, issue when it came to case number 10. So it was 240, it was not supposed to be, it's supposed to be 24. So I've already rectified and I can save this data. So technically, I have now overcome any data entry errors. Now, just to share with you an additional feature, 
if let's say I go back here again to data entry, yeah, analyze the uh, descriptive statistics and I click here. Okay, I can uh, reset this thing. I just want to show you. If you see over here, yeah, the variables are actually giving me the label name. If let's say I don't want the label name, I want a shorter version over here. I can do that. Yeah. So how do I do that? Yeah, you see, if you go to your variable view, you have name and you have labels. So what it's displaying over there is the labels, but I want it to display the name. So I can do that by going to edit, options, and display names. And I click OK. OK now, right? So you see, if now if I go back to analyze and I go to descriptive statistics and again to descriptive statistics, can you see it's giving me the name now it's not giving me the labels yeah so you can do that if you want them to be more neater and so that it's easier for you to identify yeah so this is what you do yeah in order to solve your data entry error issue